Okay, in this short video, we're going to explain how to convert a number to a percentage. All right, the answer is that you're going to take your number and you're going to multiply by 100%. 100% um, is a product, in other words, a multiplication problem. It's 100 times the percent sign, and that equals 1. Uh, the word percent in itself means per hundred. So as you can see here, we have percent equals one per hundred. Uh, the percent sign is a number. So when you see the expression 100 uh, percent, yes, we know that that equals one, but also you can think of it as a product. It's 100 times the percent sign, 100 times one over a hundred, and that equals one. Remember that um, when you're converting a number, you need to use a conversion factor that equals 1. We're, we're converting one number to a, another form of the same number. The numbers are going not, the value of the number is not going to change. That's why whenever you see the word convert or conversion or conversion factor, that means that that factor is going to equal 1. So, Let's say you need to convert the number 0 0.4 to a percentage. The simple answer is you're going to multiply times 100%. 0 0.4 times 100% equals 0 0.4 times 100 times the percent sign. That is a number. We're going to leave it as the percent sign because we're converting to percent. So 0 0.4 times 100 is 40 times the percent symbol. And our final answer is going to be 40%. Okay, this is also going to work for fractions. Let's say that we need to convert the fraction 1 8th to a percentage. We're going to again multiply 1 8th times 100%. We're going to have 1 8th times 100 times percent symbol. Okay, we can convert 1 8th to a decimal. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, a fraction means division, so you're going to have 1 divided by 8, and that's going to give you this decimal number here. You're going to multiply that times 100, and multiply that times the percent symbol. We're going to leave it as a symbol, because we want to convert this to a percentage. So when you multiply 0 0.125 times 100, you get 12.5. 12.5 times the percentage symbol is going to give you the answer 12.5 percent. So 1 point, I'm sorry, 1 eighth is going to equal 12.5 percent. Now, I know some people are kind of confused about that. Um, Sometimes uh, teachers say, oh, just multiply times 100 and then put the percent symbol on your answer. Well, actually, what that literally means is that you're multiplying times 100%. And I'm going to explain that because sometimes people get a little confused about that. I've met uh, people with college degrees that do not understand this concept. So I'm going to explain it to you so we can get it 100% clear. Sorry for the pun. And we'll understand why this works. Okay. So here we have a pie chart, and there are five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. Five equal pieces. So this piece is one-fifth of the pie. We know that one-fifth equals 0 0.2, and that equals 20%. All of these numbers are equal, okay? And these are numbers. One-fifth is a number. 0 0.2 is a number. 20% is a number. And we can represent these numbers on the number line. So I have here the, the, a number line from 0 to 1, and these increments are in tenths. So if I come to 1, 2, this is 2 tenths, okay? This is uh, 0 0.2, and it equals 20%. It also equals 1 fifth. We can express this in many ways, but this is just the same number. So if we were to take this number and uh, try to convert it, let's say we're taking 0 0.2. And you're saying, well, how did you get it to equal 20%? What did you multiply by to get 20%? Did you multiply times 100 or 100%? Well, since we know 0 0.2 is the same number as 
uh, we didn't move anywhere. Okay, so we had to have multiplied by 1, which is 100%. If we had taken 0 0.2 and multiplied times 100, we would be way on down the line at the number 20. See, 20 is not 20%. So to convert a number to percentage, you need to multiply times 100%. I'm hoping I'm making myself pretty clear there. I think it's pretty clear when you see it this way. One-fifth of the pi equals 0 0.2 equals 20%. Th those, those three numbers are the same spot on this number line. And when you're converting from one form to the other, we're not moving anywhere on this number line. So we had to have multiplied by 1 to get to 20% which is 100%. We should have multiplied 0 0.2 times 100% to give us the 20%, because we're not moving anywhere on this number line. I hope that cleared some things up about how to convert a number to percentage. Thank you, and I hope you have fun learning math.